radio, be set radio, be set radio, be set radio. You hear the record spinning, yeah, we repping every episode. Wanna shame the word he's giving us, we preach it everywhere we go. Be set radio, be set radio, be set radio, be set radio. We've been talking, <laughs> we've been talking to Tonic, man. We're gonna get it in just about uh, the formation of cross movement. But after that, man, you guys start putting out music, you know, and uh, really doing something that wasn't being done and with the success, you know, that you guys uh, uh, gained. And, and things started to grow more, more and more. You add more people mm -hmm. to, the, to the label, you know. But before then, you, you put out some projects, but you add more people to the label. And, man, just right. to give you uh, and our listeners a, a glimpse of who was on this label, and I pro I'm probably mm -hmm. going to miss some people, but um, I know The Truth was on there, Flame. Was mm -hmm. on there. Lecrae, yep. Lecrae was on there. Uh, R. Swift. Mm -hmm. um, who else? And actually, let me correction. Like Lecrae wasn't actually signed to the label, but okay. we did a deal. Kind of something was unprecedented for us at the time, but we did a deal with Reach Records. Gotcha. To put out the Lecrae, the first couple of Lecrae albums. So gotcha. He wasn't officially a, a, a CM artist, but you know, we we helped with we, the Reach situation and help, with the Lecrae okay. situation. Help push him out a little bit more. Yep. Okay. Yep. Well. Um, Everyday process? Were they on the label? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. now, I remember those guys were bad, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Who else was on there? I know I'm missing some people, but um, I'm saying that to say a lot of these guys have their R. own. R. Swift. R. Swift. Yeah. yeah. They have their own labels now. A lot of these guys, you know, yeah. uh, they're doing their own thing. But um, And so as it began to grow, um, how did you, because you served as the as the, the CEO type guy, right? You were running the, the operations. I ran the record label side of what we did, yeah. Okay. So when you have all these art artists on deck, I think, J was JR, JR on, on J your list? JR was, yeah. Man. <laughs> That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when you have all these guys, and we just know just from uh, human nature, man, there's a lot of bravado, man. There's a lot of, yeah. you know, man, I need my, my project need to go out first. And, you know, that kind right. of stuff, mm -hmm. you know. But right. I, I know we're Christians, but at the same time, we deal with the same type of pride issues. How how mm -hmm. how was that managed? How did you even select who went out and, and all yeah. that kind of stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Um, and I think we're no different. We were humans. Um, even though, but though I think early on, like a lot of those things, um, I don't think we really saw a lot of that. Like you didn't hear a lot of bravado, a lot of fighting, a lot of infighting about who's going next and who's getting what. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things we had in place was we wanted any person that wanted to partner with us and we wanted to partner with them to understand what we were doing. So just like you asked me the question about how we started and what was important for us, we yes. wanted anybody else coming on board to have that same mindset. Gotcha. So there was a time when we would, like I remember when we met Flame and Flame handed me his, his tape, a cassette <laughs> tape at the time. <laughs> and uh, I remember listening to it kind of through the night we were on tour and I just couldn't stop listening to it called him the next day we kind of started a relationship from there with him and JR and we already had truth in tow at the time with the young buck in Philly and the whole idea was hey man like just hang out just like mm. we ain't talking record deals right now we ain't talking nothing but just mm. come hang out wow. let's get in the scriptures let's <laughs> pray together let's learn from one another because two things we knew would happen in that process. If you were antsy and you were just about the industry and you were just looking to make a name for yourself, then you probably more than likely would get smoked out. Mm, more than likely. Wow. Uh, I say that. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure I uh, take a note there. But um, So, you know, what these guys were willing to do was just hang around and mm. just hang around for years, being servants and kind of uh, spending time just with one another until we both kind of thought the time was right. Like, it just seemed like the Lord had set up things to the point where we had the resources and, you know, enough manpower to do things properly. And then we just began to, to start launching what we hoped was not just albums. Like, we always encourage people, let's launch, you know, what's going to be your platform? Mm -hmm. You know, what's going to be... What what is it that you think is important from analyzing the culture right now, from what's going on in the culture and what's going on in the church, truth, to, to kind of hit people with right now? And so we look wow. to kind of launch those platforms, put the music out, and hope that the music would gather people so that we could, you know, 
um, when the music stopped, be able to give them what we really wanted to give them. Um, mm. So whether in the music or you know in person, so wow, that was kind of the mindset. Yeah, you know? and so years went on like that, uh-huh. and uh, I think it served us well. I would say in some of the latter years, I think some things got a little uh, wonky. Um, but again, I think you know that's just humans and the ability for um, just some other paradigms to come in, like, uh, you know, other paradigms come in, people start being affected by them. And, you know, before you know it, uh, I think we had a case or two where somebody tried to come in my office like they were Suge Knight or something, and, uh, you know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. <laughs> for the most part, we didn't have a whole lot of that. But yeah, yeah. but look, man, that's re- very important. What you said, yes, it was it about is. first the ministry, accountability, discipleship, mm-hmm. those type right. of aspects, and I think. On a in a lot on a lot of levels, that's I, I see that as a missing component in in yeah. what I'm, what I'm seeing in, in Christian rap right now the discipleship yeah. and accountability. You know, yeah. uh, when you have guys, and I'll just say this: when you have guys putting out CDs cussing, you know, and calling it Christian mm-hmm. rap, I think that's a. Like, uh, my question is: who did he run this CD by? Just his peers? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or some yeah, pastors or some people that's going to not be yeah. yes men, you know. And so my thing is, I, I want people to, to hear what Tonic said. It, the music, you know, was not even the most important thing. It right. was about, come on, right. let's live life on life, yeah. you know, and let's right. let's let's build each other up. Build, yeah, and discipleship. Mm-hmm. That's that's important. And, yeah. that, man, that's really the foundation. I mean, if you put out music and you don't have that foundation, then your music is not going to last long. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you got to have that spiritual foundation. So that's the source of your music. That's the source of everything that you do. I think it goes back to mm-hmm. one of those things that I said before, too, um, that a lot of artists are missing. You know, along with discipleship is prayer, that relationship mm-hmm. with God. Because mm-hmm. if you if you had prayed before you wrote that yeah. or before you, even, you know what I'm saying, before yeah, you even got to true. that point and seek God for an answer, then that would have never yeah. came out. That's you true. know, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. like my dad always says, that if it's something, if something is in you, it's going to come out one way or the other. If mm-hmm. it's not in you, it's not going to come out. So if cussing is not in me, I'm not going to do it. Right. doesn't matter what the situ- situation or circumstance is. Right. Man. Uh, you know, unfortunately, brothers, I think also mm-hmm. um, some of these issues that we'll see today, like the church is very different and it's changing mm-hmm. fast. So I guess what we would call the church. And again, I don't need, I don't say that to, to, um, to this, my mm-hmm. man who put out, you know, his record, because I haven't heard it yet. I don't know his situation. Mm-hmm. But I'm just saying, in general, I think there's a number of different issues yeah. uh, that are changing. And you'd be surprised, man, like, you know, this would be a big issue for us. But even like y'all say, who did he run this by? I know churches today that probably wouldn't find that to be such I know. a big deal. And that's mm-hmm. sad to yeah. me. <laughs> I, I gotta yeah. be honest. I, and I, I say this, man, a lot of this flows from the church. Be, you know, yeah. like, I, I believe that God, even for, for artists and, and singers and rappers, the church is there to be, to serve as an yeah. accountability mm-hmm. for you. Yep. As a, you know, right. a means to, I feel like this, that should be artists that are able to run, you know, their projects by their pastors. You know, yeah, by yeah, leaders yeah, in definitely. in the church and say, hey, I want you to critique this. I want you to scrutinize this. Let me know, you know, if, if I'm lining up with scripture and, and stuff like that. But I think we have a lot of long wolves and we have a lot of artists that don't go to church. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, that, I think that's a big piece. That, that's, that's a big piece, man. And, uh, yeah, the accountability piece you talk about. And the thing is, the church isn't just to be there to be this accountability agent. Mm-hmm. Like artists should be members, you know, and they're yeah. active members serving in the church to where it's not like, hey, and uh, by the way, I want you to know about something that I'm doing that nobody knows about. But by people doing life together, it's just natural that you would know what somebody's about and what they're doing in their, you know, with their music and and so on and so forth. So, uh, yeah. yeah, I agree, man. It's funny because when I was a disciple um, prior to connecting with Cross Movement and then through the process of Cross Movement, one of the things I had to do was, you know, the church made me a domestic missionary and sent me on mission with Cross Movement. I had to come wow. back and give missions reports, you know, for my time <laughs> being out. And, it, it, and I'm not saying wow. that to, you know, to say everybody has to do that, uh-huh. but I think it served me really well. It was great for the church to see what the Lord was yes. doing mm-hmm. out there and what they were you know, what they were pushing forward, and it was, you know, it was great for for me, too, uh, for accountability, so. 
Radio, be set radio, be set radio.